Hi, this is Glenn Verner. Uh, today I've got a pair of uh, KRK Rocket 6 powered speakers that I've had for about five years now. And they're starting to get noisy. In fact, one got really noisy uh, after a recent power outage. So noisy I couldn't use it anymore. So uh, what I did is I took it apart, took a look at it, and I noticed, hey, there's a, several capacitors in there that are all bulging. And so what I thought I might do is um, give it a shot, replace those capacitors, and see if it works. So uh, uh, let's take a look at it. So here are the two speakers, and you can see um, I turned this on, and you should probably hear this little, uh, little buzz. And this one here is loud, really loud. And you see, this is, this is without anything plugged in, just the power cord. So we'll start here by taking the back off. Uh, around the outside here, there's like eight screws. So we'll remove these screws. And these are all the same size. Now we'll flip it up and take the, split it apart. There it goes. In here we've got a few wires we need to disconnect. Uh, pull this stuff out and see that speaker wire down in here a little better. We can disconnect this one. Um, there's another set of, uh, I guess, the tweeter wires. Pull them off. And uh, one other, I'm, I'm not sure what this is for, we the wire in here. Pull that out. So now we've got the, the backing off the speaker itself. Get this out of the way. Look at this. And uh, hopefully you can see that. You see these capacitors. They've expanded. At the top, the tops have blown up. Also, back in here, another one's blown up. I'm going to see I've propped this up on a, a 4x4 here. And we'll help steady it. So let's see if we can get the capacitors off. I put a little flux on it. This is my second one, so I remember locations. I know where the locations are. I know where the solder, which where negative goes. So blue down, okay. And these have some huge holes. And just clear them with just the solder point. I don't know, there it is. Maybe you can. Maybe not that one. So I've got the holes clear on those and and got them out of there. So
clean these off with a little alcohol here. Just on the inside. Now they, the manufacturer glued all the stuff in place. I'm not going to do that, but um, I, I imagine that's just to keep things from falling apart. Maybe a good idea, but I'm not going to spend the time to do that. Now, can we get to clear those four holes? Looks like we should be able to. Two of them. There's a hole. So don't get the solder molt in. Got it. Okay, let's do it there. Yeah, that works. So we got all holes are clear. And there are the capacitors. There's four different capacitors. Well, actually, there's two different. They, these two here are the same. So the new ones are on the right, and the older ones are on, the old ones are on the left. So we've got two here that are 3,300 microfarad, 50 degree, 50 volts. Two of those are the same, and they're a 7.5 millimeter um, lead sep sp spacing. They have a thousand microfarad, uh, and I, I got the 50 volt, which is a little more than the original, which was 35 volts. And it's a thousand micro farad, 50 volts. And then the fourth one, again, it's a thousand micro farad, 50 volts. But the difference between these two are the lead spacing. This one's a five, five millimeter lead spacing. And the other one's a 7.5 millimeter lead spacing. Now one thing I didn't pay any attention to when I bought these, and this may cost me, uh, is the uh, degrees. So I believe that's probably operation, operating temperature. Uh, and the ones I purchased, most of the ones I purchased are 85 centigrade, 85 degrees centigrade. And the originals were all 105 
degrees centigrade. So that may cost me. I've only got one that's a 105, and the other the other three that I purchased are are 85. So that may cost the long longevity of these capacitors. We'll put these capacitors in the place. Make sure we got the negative going in the right direction. The two on the inside negative went to get together to the center, and the board's marked with, with the slashing on the negative side. Now these center ones are both the same values, but they're different spacing of different lead spacing. I'm going to trim the leads off and then bend them over so it won't fall out. This one's a thousand negative to the inside. They're both in there, negatives correct. Double checking. Okay, I'm gonna put a little flux on them. We're good. I miss them. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's still got a hole. I'm going to fill the hole. Let the hole fill up. Okay, so that's together. So now we'll clean this up a little bit with alcohol. Use an alcohol. the orientation that we originally had. Put the speaker wire on first. These are different sizes so it's it's easy to get them keep them right. There's a small and a larger one. So, and this tweeter wire. Again these are different sizes so it's easy to, to know which one goes where. And this third wire. So that looks like all the wiring. Put this back in. Let's not forget it. Like we did last time. Put the eight screws back in it.
So both speakers are complete now, and I think they're back to normal. There is, of course, there is some hiss in there if you get close. But I'm pretty sure that's normal operation. So let's try and play some music.